Yo, what is up everyone? I am Vigor Partner IX Wardog and welcome into today's YouTube video. Today we are going to be discussing what is to come in Season 14's Battle Pass as well as some new cosmetics and what is coming for Valentine's. So, let's get into it. So firstly, you may be wondering what inspired the devs on this season's battle pass. So this season's battle pass is based on Diesel Punk. Diesel Punk is a type of punk genre of speculative fiction that is based on the 1940s or 1920s to 1940s period um, it's been spiced up with retro futuristic innovations and occult events um, so basically the, the diesel punk narrative is characterized by the conflict versus the undefeatable i.e nature society cosmic powers and the heavy use of technology and gray on gray uh, morality um, so that is what this season is based on um, now moving on to the actual battle pass and what it's about is firstly we got the Wraith Midnight Crone outfit. Um, this is a really really cool design. This is really awesome um, outfit. The backpack is real nice with the the, the is that like the face masks on the bottom, um, as well as um, some tools, and there is a like a, a deer's head or a. a a sheep skull there on the top as well as some some sort of horns there antlers on the top and feathers as well as this really cool mask they got on i really would have thought this would have been the level 50 outfit um because of how intricate the design is and how awesome this outfit is as well um, but they put it in the, the level one i'm guessing this will entice people to maybe buy the 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 battle pass because this is the first outfit you're going to receive and i believe it it's probably one of the best um that you on this battle pass um there is another variation further up the line but we'll get to that uh number two level two is the greasers pack in dirt brown again really cool little backpack here uh, with a tin box attached to the top of it as well uh along with the single strap going across the front of it Really nice, uh, really nice backpack to the uh, battle pass. Level three is the Warforged Medic in ebony black. Really cool again. Nice design, sort of a leathery effect to this with like the the punky type goggles that we've seen in previous um, battle passes. But again, another. It's got like a gas mask attachment to the front of it. Really, really good design for this diesel this diesel punk season. Here we go. We've got the riveted m249 skin uh sort of like a, a rustic a rustic m249 skin sort of, we've we've seen this sort of um this sort of skin in previous battle pass but this is a different design which again really nice really nice added to the m249 i don't know really know how to say this one is this drag 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 maybe headgear set in withered Again, really cool. Sort of a mesh on the front of it, encased by like a full, is that like a, a steel slash leather? Sort of like a hockey helmet at the back there. Really cool with a zip on the back, levery, as well as some horns on the front of it. Really nice, really nice. And then again, at level uh, level five, you get the 20% XP boosters. Moving on to level six, you got the reinforced goggles in dark. Sort of like a, a, a sieve type effect attached to the front of the goggles i mean in real life that'd be really hard to see out of but again really cool really cool glasses here nice nice standard goggles there we got the torch helmet like is uh in a with a rad light on it i mean i'm not sure how this is going to look inside the outlands is this going to get you spotted with this super bright torch on it i don't know but again really cool miners outfit uh miners uh headwear should i say sorry with some spikes on it and a light it's really cool there quite nice actually quite a cool little outfit and then we have the plated m4a1 skin this is really cool this is really cool skin here as you can see it's got like a, a star at the bottom of it on the handle on the grip as well as like the the steeled um the steeled effect on it with rivets all around really cool skin for this gun i am excited to actually start using this gun in the outlands level nine we have the fuel runners volatile backpack 
really cool backpack i'm guessing sort of like a jetpacky sort of look to it isn't it uh like a flamethrower he looks like definitely looks like a sort of jetpack <laughs> type of outfit obviously it's not going to be a jetpack it's just a uh just a backpack here but really cool again got a fire symbol on the front of it there sort of like a little lock look at the bottom of it i'm guessing where the fuel goes etc uh on the top there really cool backpack uh then we go to the reckoning one grease boys title cool little title here it's basically a fuel can with a psi gauge on it, it says v8 on there mm, i'm guessing guessing this is what the sort of cars they used in the uh the diesel punk era i'm guessing v8s with this cool like in the uh, trailer you saw i'm working on the car really cool mechanical symbol there uh, you get 50 crowns with this as well as another five percent xp boost moving on to the level nine the tinkerer's cap tinkerer's cap there look really cool it's got some sort of like motherboard type of design on the top of it with like is, is that copper yeah it is copper as said there on the uh the level 11 oh, that's tinker's cap in copper green it's really cool really really like this cap really really nice cap there designed to it with the uh the copper mechanical bits at the top there uh moving on to level 12 we've got the armored gloves in blue steel uh the right hand there you can see is uh full fingered apart from the thumb and then moving on over to the left glove you've got the the pinky and the the pointy finger there as as well as the thumb cut out really cool designs looks like bottle caps there bottle caps attaching the fingers together definitely like a diesel punky type of thing really going on there and then the right design by buttons really cool there uh we got the bear trap moving on to level 13 as we all know the bear trap is coming into vigor this season up here that's what the bear trap looks like uh you get free ones you get obviously 10 free ones in the free battle but, or the free tier battle pass there um, but level 13 you actually get the crafting plan for this moving on to level 14 you get the riveted uh Gewehr 3 sg1 really cool really cool this one's more of a, a rustic type riveted um compared to the m4a1 this is more like a bronzy type coppery type version um really cool again really liking this skin uh, especially because it's on the sg1 as well really nice design to this one uh level 15 the bag and bones jolly roger outfit jolly roger really cool really really like this look at that the uh the nuclear symbol down there on the left side of this as well as like a a skull like on the, the actual backpack and then obviously another a nuclear sign there on the right hand side of it nice little backpack single strap again single strap but i do i do like it because it has this this skull on the front of it and then again another f5 percent xp boost on to level 15. uh we level 16 we got the mohawk helmet in bronze this is very much diesel punk here very much with these the bullets there we got six bullets attached to the top of the helmet along with the roped like these roped gloves um gold there at the front and then a little pouch on the left hand side really cool looking love this love this level 17 we've got the riveted remy riveted remy i know a lot of people do use the remy it's quite an excitable gun or shotgun from the previous season and with this new skin it makes it really really cool love it love this riveted remy skin uh we got 18 level 18 we got the knockout base paint as you can see the bruises there on the the cheekbones um the the, the above the eyebrow and across the front of the, the mouth and the cheeks there nice nice as if they've been in a uh, a real conflicted battle like a, a hands-on battle there really really nice face paint really nice face paint level 19 the immortan axel marauder military grade headgear set this this is really cool this is really cool sort of like a uh this this sort of looks like a, a star wars helmet you know when they get in those the is it the x-wing fighters the the fighter planes that they they jump on it's sort of like that along with obviously this this mask that looks like it's sort of a mad max type mask that the um the main bad character has on his face along with like these um these pipes out of it really cool it's like a sort of a mix it looks really awesome 
again in like a brownie rustic type look to it as well level 20 you get the reckoning 2 sawbones um title here again another variation of the previous one along with these along with this symbol on the front not sure exactly what that symbol is might have to dive into that and have a, a look at that uh later on see what that that is maybe in another video um, but another cool title there you get 75 crowns along with another 10 percent xp booster uh, moving on to level 21 we got the warforged medic duty bound um, headgear set another variation of one seen previously in this battle pass again really cool but this time with a with a gold a goldy type um, gas mask attachment to it, a filter on the side of it really cool nice looking um, headgear set there we got the fuel runner inflammable inflammable there sort of a brownie red brownie red variation of this backpack uh, like the previous ones nice and nice and cool and again a single strapped um, version really nice really really liking these backpacks definitely fit in this diesel punk error uh, level 23 we got the paratrooper helmet the cbrn division really cool here there you go you got like the gray along with the the coppery gold um, stripe around the edge along with the really cool goggles on the top and then obviously the nuclear symbol on uh, either side of this another nice little helmet there to go with this season then we got the riveted rpk 74 skin again really nice really nice skin really nice loving these the riveted versions of these another rustic -y type there going on for those of you who enjoy the rpk skin you'll definitely or the rpk gun you'll definitely enjoy this skin here level 25 now the wasteland brute the scrap trooper rare outfit loving the loving these outfits here as you can see like a mechanic -y type symbol on the back holding a spanner there this is definitely fitting off this season i'm liking the shoulder pads on the left and right hand side really cool outfits along with the boots and the uh, steel steel shoes and the steel um, shin shin guards along with some pouches on the legs there and then like sort of like a, a, a really cool retro armory an armor type outfit there uh, we got level 50 we got i'm um, sorry level 25 with xp boosters of 15 percent there going on level 25 then moving on to level 26 we got the reinforced goggles in brass this time brass effect there on the front of the goggles again really nice really cool it's gonna be very hard to see out them if it was real life but again nice nice uh we got the plated adr 97 love it i really do like this i really do like this especially with like the the brass and, and gold and then you've got the star on the uh the optics there at the front along with all these rivets and then you can see the the spring there the recoil spring inside the gun along with the ammo coming that is a really really nice skin i'm actually really loving this skin like with these little stickers down the bottom as well this is this is nice this is I think this is one of the, the best skins or the weapons on this season. Really nice. Um, we got the Greasers back, the Greasers pack in Hydrant Red at level 28. Really, really nice. Really nice. Loving this with a little uh, brownie red tin this time at the top. Another single strap there going across the front. Really, really nice. Uh, the Bullet Hoarders hat in uh, Arctic. As we see, we got the Arctic helmet there. We got some shotgun shells, three shotgun shells on the left side of this, um, three on the right, and then we got a bunch of rounds attached to the front of this. Really cool for those uh, snow maps. Really cool uh, loadout for those snow maps running in. Loving this, loving this. Uh, and then we got level 30, the Reckoning, level 3, the Hellfire battery there we go we got the the bullet along with the wings on there on the front of this and then um some more added features to this as well as the v8 fuel press psi system moving up there see the needle moving up really cool really cool we got 100 crowns in this um as well as 15 percent xp booster moving on to level 31 we got the war forged helmet in brass with the rivets really cool there we got the the 
Born to Kill there on the top, as well as the is that the Ace of is that the Ace of Clubs or the Ace of Spades there going on Ace of Spades with a bullet on there, um, with like a, a crack in the helmet riveted in with some brass, um, like some brass bits in there, really cool, with the symbol up the top there. Uh, level thirty two, we got the bag of bones, the pale rider. Pale rider backpack here, really cool again, silvery grey type backpack with a skull in the front with those uh really prominent yellow colors of the nuclear symbols there and then um the that's like a biohazard sort of like a resident evil biohazard symbol on the, the left there really nice really nice loving the loving these backpacks really do love these backpacks in this season here we go we've got the riveted aur h bar skin they are really putting some the skins on the, the it seems to be like the most used weapons the most used weapons are getting some skins maybe they've done you know like some sort of uh background check on what the most used weapons are from previous seasons and it seems like they're adding the skins onto the, some of the most used weapons which is really good um because obviously then you're going to see a lot of these skins um around this season um based on I'm guessing previous data i mean i don't quote me on that but this it does really look like what this is, is is going on here level 34 we got the immortan axel the old guard again loving this loving this helmet like the 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 mixture of the colors like the prominent gold there um being featured and the, the silver going on there at the front this is a really really nice mask uh, high up in the battle pass as well so you're gonna have to work for this one definitely a really cool helmet love this absolutely lo I, I really enjoyed this along with you know the, the some of the outfits in here plus that adr skin I'm, I'm still you know sort on that adr skin really nice really really nice uh we got the wasteland brute at level 35 again really really cool outfit here the enforcer the enforcer nice look it says politi politi you're guessing which means police nice i know there's some people out there in the outlands who like to have the uh the old title of i'm the police the enforcer so this is this might be a, a really really used outfit with some of those people some of those people with the higher kills they uh, like using these police and robbers type outfits really nice in blue blue and gray loving this outfit loving this outfit another 15 percent xp booster there at level 35 as well then we got the tinkerer face paint there you go as you see some grease some grease if you do watch my channel you'll know i have some war paint this is the sort of thing i do on my channel <laughs> some uh some oil based grease paint there across the face definitely been tinkering on a, a vehicle of some sort yeah nice face paint level 37 we got the plated l85a1 there you go so like the previous like the m4a1 this is more of a, a silvery type version compared to the the brownie rustic version uh, again riveted here it's got rivets on here um, which is quite nice with the the sort of coppery sight the uh, the mag as well as the the barrel there really nice and the trigger the trigger seems to be in it as well i do believe really really nice skin again riveted and plated level 38 we got the is that the i, I, I keep messing this up the drag the draga the drag the vanguard helmet uh, this is like got sort of like a blood splatter on the front of it there you can see it blood as if he's proper headbutted someone and uh you know got that blood splatter on there looks like a very looks like it's been struck someone with that very nice horns on the front again lever effect on the back with a zip nice outfit nice outfit armored gloves at level 39 the cold iron gloves silvery iron effect with the buttony type bits on the front oh no they look like they're actually screws aren't they they're top of screws there you can see the flat head and the uh the phillips head there on them again with the thumb cut out on the right finger uh the right hand oh it's sort of different on this look they got these with on the left one it's sort of like a levery again um with the with the bottle caps the tin caps there and the little finger the pointing finger and the thumb cut off this one really nice like really like these gloves here level 40 we have the reckoning for the marauder brigade look that is uh you can see that's the side on of a of a face there with what it looks sort of like a uh if you ever seen like a 
a, a swordfish, like the fins of a swordfish there, or like sort of like a tuna fins as well. Like um, they have those really spiky bits, uh, fins on the back of them, around the head, and then like a pointed nose there. Really nice, really nice sort of um, title there, along with obviously the PSI gauge going up again on that one. You get 100 crowns, another 100 crowns, and a 20% XP boost at this level. Moving on to the level 41, we got the plated L86A1 skin. Another version, like riveted, along with like the, the brassy type slight hint there on the scope, the barrel, and the mag there. Really nice. Really do love these these skins this season and with this metal type effect to them. Moving on to level 42, the War Boy face paint the war boy this is definitely like a, a sort of mad max style here uh you know the war boys in them they they spray themselves but in in mad max they spray themselves with like chrome whereas this looks like it's been sprayed with oil to um obviously to match up with this diesel punk theme really really cool love that love that war boy face paint there level 43 the immortan axle carnivore there you go sort of this one's got like some some white stripes on it as well as like a a goldy a goldy bronze type look to it yellowy there uh with with this all going on here it's really nice really nice variation of this um headgear set moving on to level 44 we got the wraith headhunter outfit so this is sort of like the level one outfit with just a, a slight variation of color in in this season uh in this level should i say slight variation of color there i believe on the this that's the the is that the head of the skull there up the top slight variations there and on the face mask down the bottom as well as the overall outfit color change slight slight variation only minute in detail i would have liked to have seen this in like more of a prominent colors more more like shiny gold with the brass like you see on some of the the weapons there i would have liked to see it in that but again really nice outfit uh level 44. level 45 we have the reckoning 5 demon core there there we go we got the gas mask on the back with the added tin box to the bottom uh, as well as obviously the PSI fuel gauge going up. These are really cool, intricate titles this season. Really, really nice. Um, and then at level 45, you also get the M4A1 plan. This is definitely a plan I am going to be striving to get as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Um, because I absolutely love the M4A1, the way it's been designed, the skins that are added to this. Absolutely brilliant. Love that. Level 45. And we got a 30% XP booster as well at level 45 to get you high on those levels. Moving on to level 46, we got the Juggernaut in Danger. So this is really, really cool. Look at those. Like the, They've cut up some blades, some saw blades, and added them on there. A couple of numbers on the back. Looks like 632110 could mean something. Not too sure. We'll obviously the yellow Danger, Danger type paint on that. The stripes as well as like some hockey type mask shield or a football mask shield there going on in a great moving on to level 47 we got the plated bugle again another variation this one's more of a silvery again um to match the l86 as well uh, uh, the l85 and l86 and the m4a1 really nice design there definitely this is definitely they've definitely done this to add these to the more more desirable weapons within the the game uh, there, there's definitely got to be some data searching going on and these have been definitely added to the the, the guns that you know um, are definitely more used again don't quote me on that this is my my doing this is what i'm thinking but let me know if you agree with me on that one um in the comments below level 48 we have the armored gloves in the shining brass again love these brass type effect gloves there right hand again the thumb cut out really nice i really love these really love these i've just noticed as well actually on both both hands they this actually got the the pinky finger there and um the one next to it um, i can't remember what the name of that that finger is but there is one of the fingers anyway um that's been cut off on the right hand side this might be in the previous did i miss these in the previous ones i probably did but yeah that's really nice effect again brass brass um you know, like caps from soda cans there at 
attaching these gloves together on the left hand side level 49 is the tinkerer's cap in rusty red really nice really nice cap again with the the motherboard type effect there going on you know all the the wire there and the soldering going on on this one really like this hat again nice nice addition to this battle pass finally moving on to level 50 you get the reckoning six warlord there looks like some sort of spartan helmet going on there with some wings etc really really cool with the added um tailpipe ends and then the fuel pressure gauges all the way to the max this means you have finished this battle pass 200 crowns there as well as a special issue crate and if you've got the free tier battle pass you will get that outfit up here you will get the wasteland brute revenant outfit level 50 here we got the the yellow the yellow spray paint on the left side and then the 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 pinky purple spray paint on the right hand side of this with an x and then the blue on the back and then green x's at the bottom there really really cool outfit again nice i would have liked to have seen this maybe at level one and then the level one outfit here um the wraith midnight maybe at level 50 swap them around the other way around but again really nice outfit really nice outfit level 50 there moving on to some valentine's outfits i don't know exactly when these are going to be released into the game but they're going to be very close to um to obviously valentine's day on the 14th of february they might release it at the same time as they do the game but i would expect maybe a couple of days later um, definitely more closer but i'm not entirely too sure as you can see we got the track jacket with love not war loving this lo really loving this outfit red and black here could be a quite used outfit over the valentine's period there um, with the red stripes red love heart on the back we have love really nice outfit there um Moving on over to the second part of this set, we got the CCP gas mask in Love Not War. Really love this design, We're using the word love there, um, but it's really, really nice with the with the white all over this, this CCP gas mask, as well as like the two black roses on either side with the red and black car at the front with the red filter on that as well. Really nice addition, might just add that on while we're here. Next in this set is the face mask, the Love Not War. As we all know, uh, with COVID that has been going on, this is quite a, a nice little fitting mask here. A Love Not War face mask with hearts on it across the front of it. Nice little addition to this um, outfit set. Here we have the Love Struck Balaclava. As you can see, it's in red with the Cupid's heart with the arrow going through it. A nice little addition to this set as well add on to the back there as you can see nice little balaclava to go with this set we also have the lovable rogue balaclava this is a white version with the words lovely on the top of it again another nice balaclava to go with this overall outfit sets so also go. with this set with the release of the new m4 a1 in the battle pass um, that is coming up with the season that's coming up you get the heart attack m4 a1 skin we're going to zoom in a little here you can see like the red um pinky type love hearts all over it really nice gun skin um to add to the weapon set or the the outfit set that you get with the valentines really really nice um heart attack skin here you also get another skin this is uh the love is forever m4a1 skin this is sort of like a uh, like a sort of like hydro dipped or like stickered on effect um with lots of little triangles within the hearts um i can't remember what this design is called um but again really really nice with all these love hearts black red white there going on a lot of detail in this gun skin this is the love is forever um so not only do you get the outfit you get the ccp gas mask you get the face mask and you also get these two um gun skins here really really nice additions to add to this outfit set adding on to this season you not only get obviously the battle pass that's coming in and all the outfits on there and skins etc on there as well as the valentine skin you also get a few additionals that they've added in so this is one of them this is the renegade brown outfit really nice outfit there with the uh is that a whitey blue 
Um, I do apologise, I am a colour deficient, so I'm not too sure if that's white or, or bluey type there, but it looks more white to me. Um, but you get the brown striped jacket as well as the um, brown trousers, brown pants there, as well as the brown shoes on the on the feet there. Moving to the next outfit, you get the robber outlander number 32 outfit this is a really cool outfit this is the robber outfit from previous seasons but it also has outlander number 32 on this really nice outfit there brown brown bomber type jacket there um, with the the fur lined um neck you also get the robber green outfit another variation of this outfit in green which is really nice a sort of crocodile skin on the jacket there quite nice design to this really really nice and you also get the robber camo outfit there you go a brown jacket with the camo pants trousers there down the bottom another nice addition to this 500 crowns please do remember that this is the preview build and things could change um you know the the cost of these outfits could change but generally they will stay in there so next up you have the walker outfit really really nice this is sort of like what looks like Prison 481301 there. Could this be based on the actual Misfits program? I don't know, but it is a really nice, like an orangey, burnt orange type looking outfit there. Could be a really used outfit this season, going into the future maybe. Really do love this outfit. Really do love this outfit. You also have the Vega Bond Walker outfit. Another addition to these walker outfits. I know these walker outfits are, are really quite popular within the Outlands. Um, I see a lot of people wearing these. Again, this is another nice version of this outfit. We also have the added walker forest green outfit. Again, uh, a, a walker outfit. Very, very popular outfits within the Outlands. And this one is in the forest green. This will be this will be a quite nice outfit, you know, on the new Myron map in the nighttime. Even any of the, the forestry um, maps, this will make you blend in very, very well. This one, this is a, another really nice addition to this. Here we have the rival outfit in um, racing. This is like a biker type outfit or a motorsport type outfit. You can see the checkered checkered flag type additions to the side of this along with the, the the blue levi type jeans here really really nice outfit sort of a is that a skull there a skull there on the top right hand side this is, this is definitely more of like a bikery type jacket like a, a a cut there really really nice really really nice we also have the rival zip code outfit this this is definitely one of my favorite additions to season 14 it says here this is going to be 400 crowns quite a nice amount as well as you can see it's got the skull and crossbones you got the nirvana um smiley face there you got ac dc uh, you got one under the strap i don't know what that one is um but these are definitely music this must be um something that the devs are really into some of the music that the devs are into really really nice as you can see there it says Bruno on the left hand side with the is i believe that is 60200 and i do believe that is the zip code to the bohemia interactive headquarters really nice addition is that number 20 on the side of it really really nice i am absolutely loving this outfit this might be an outfit that i'm going to be using next season uh, i'm definitely going to be buying this definitely going to be getting this you got the blue spider web on the side there as well absolutely love this outfit um so that is the end of this video i want to thank everyone for joining in if you do like the video please do consider hitting that subscribe button even hitting that like on the video and hopefully we'll see you next time